and this is the hardest part getting the first bit on the rim welcome back to the channel guys today we're in Nottingham and we're looking at RH commercial vehicles and on the building it says Renault trucks so we see these uh, trucks these cabs these HGV tractor units whatever you want to call them we see these quite often but Renault isn't the most popular brand manufacturer is it so I thought we'd just come and have a look see if we can see some different Renault Renault trucks and see what happens so it has got good signage to be honest it says do not enter unless authorized by staff and we've not had authorization have we so we won't go in we'll just have a look from the outside but it has got electric fencing and no I'm still not feeling brave enough to touch it We've got somebody uh, getting their tire changed down here. You've got one of these mobile tire vans, Bridgestone Partner. So when the wagon has, uh, so when the wagon has an accident on the roads, these guys just come out to them. And he's got the replacement tire on the back with some sort of compressor which gives him his uh, high pressured air to operate the the big pneumatic drill gun there that he's got that is a beast and you'll see it's got two four six eight ten ten studs on that wheel ten studs have they all got ten studs on these what, on every lorry? Yeah. Right. Oh, right, okay, that's just the extra wheel, though, isn't it? That's the big battle, yeah. Just protect extra weight when it's on. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, it's interesting. What, so you, there's two companies come to so one vehicle? Yeah. All oh, right. <laughs> what, you got one tyre each? Oh, you had the stock and he didn't? No, it needs 12 tyres. He's what? It needs 12 tyres. The whole thing needs doing? Yeah. Bloody hell. So you couldn't get them in one vehicle? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So same company though, both large tyre. Yeah. Right. So yeah, they, they want the whole vehicle changing. So they've sent two of their vans. I would have thought a massive job like this, they'd take it in and not get mobile. It is, it's in. Oh, right. Just got, I've got no room for us in there. Got ya. So ideally you'd be using their ramps. So that hydraulic lift then, that's also air powered, is it? It's a tiny little thing, ain't it? And it can lift all this. Three one five seventy R twenty two point five twenty PR. So a twenty two point five rim. Or is it 156? What's it say? So this is how you do it. Once the wheel's off, there's no machinery involved here. It's just brute force with the poles. Call them rods or poles. Levers, that's it. So you spray your um, your slippery stuff on to help it come over, over the rim. And then you just get your levers and peel the rim of the tyre. Over the rim of the wheel. But you've got another side to do yet. Once you've done one, You've still got to do the other. Do you see the wheel there just popping out? So we sort of release the seal on one side. I 
and then exactly the same to get the other end out smaller versions of this they always use the machine the first time I've ever seen it being done manually and imagine doing that for all the tyres on the vehicle but you'd see that sort of embedded in the ground in a children's playground or something wouldn't you these used versions the old ones So we'll just watch this go back on and then we'll move on. Look at him taking the bolts off. Easy work with that. That is a beast. Is it called a pneumatic gun? That? Has it got a special name for it? Just a pneumatic gun? Just a gun pal. Just a gun pal. Oh dear. And is that like just washing up liquid or something? Right. Washing up liquid and water to help it slip on. And do you ever use a machine for this size of tyre? So you always do it manually? Yeah. Wow. Look at him, give the tyre a bang with the sledgehammer just to free it off. And this is the hardest part, getting the first bit on the rim, using the full weight of his knee to push it down. And then using the force of the mallet to get the last bit of the rim of the tyre over the rim of the wheel. It must be really hard to get it uh, on the tyre and not on the wheel itself. Step one done. And you'll notice there on the floor, he's using his jacket to keep the wheel protected. Even making the wheel um, so that it don't slip away as well. So we've got a little um, butt put in there. That will stop the tyre from keep moving around as he forces it onto the, the rim of the wheel. It just locks it so it can't follow the force around. And when he gets to the final bit, this is the odd part again, because it's really tight there. And it's on. Does he have some sort of compressor over this way? He must be blowing it up using the other vehicle's compressor. So we'll just watch this part. Sometimes you get a really loud bang. So let's see if it happens on this occasion. You'll notice in there the machine for the smaller tires. And you'll see there's no chance of getting such a big wheel on a small machine like that. Let's just check in with the governor whether it's 120. So he's setting the, uh, the pressure like you would do at your normal forecourt and I'm going to step away. Because I don't want to be hearing a pop as the tyre seals the rim of the wheel. Is it going to pop? Yeah, no. 
just in case we'll move out the way. We don't want to be in the uh, line of fire if it goes wrong. Takes a long time, doesn't it, to pump up one of these tyres. So I don't think it's going to go pop. Normally it would have done it by now as it makes the, the seal to the wheel. But weather like this, I wouldn't want to be doing all these tyres. You'd certainly get a bit hot. So I think we've seen enough of that. You can see how easy it takes these nuts off the wheels there, look. Easy work. And you'll notice when they do go back on, they all have to be pointing in that direction. So you know visually whether the bolts have turned or not. And this is one of the few instances where leaving your vehicle idling is acceptable because it's needed to power the equipment on board. 22 plate there. So that 22 plate over there, that only got released on the 1st of March, 2022. So that's only 18 days old on the road. So Renault trucks, it just looks like this is where they come just to have their repairs done to the trucks. So there's no point taking the drone over, there's nothing really to see. We can see that this tyre was pumped up successfully and it's now going back on. You can see it's done alternate bolts on there first, then it's put the guard on at the end just to make it look nice and then the rest of the bolts go on after. And we'll see the uh, hydraulic lift come down now as well. I wouldn't like to do that myself, lowering it while your head's underneath. Would you like that? A lorry being lowered while you're underneath it. <laughs> and it's as simple as that. And that little beast is all that lifts it up. So you've seen him do one from start to finish. And that's why they've sent two guys because there's so many tires to do. So I'm gonna leave these to it. Uh, that was a, a Renault. That was a Renault T480 cab there. And as I said, with the main building, RH commercial vehicles that operate this uh, Renault truck repair centre, I believe it is. They've not uh, come out. They've not given me any hassle at all. And even the lads from Lodge Tyres, they didn't mind me uh, filming them at all, did they? You know, doing that sort of strenuous work. Would you have patience for someone like me just standing there filming, talking about what you're doing, <laughs> talking nonsense in the background? But yeah, credit to the guys, Lodge Tire. And credit also to RH Commercial Vehicles, who have just left me alone to have a little look around from the public areas. So I will leave this one here, guys. If you have enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye for now. I'm going now mate, thanks for letting me watch. Yeah, I've, just no made a, I've just made a video for my YouTube channel. Yeah, I'm man. called DJ Audits. DJ Audits. If you want to watch it back in three days time. Yeah. Um, Sam from Lodge Tires, I've got big you up because I've commented if I was them and somebody was watching me filming me, yeah. I wouldn't have been as a professional as you. You've not <laughs> questioned it at all, so credit to you mate, thank you. All right mate. Yeah. Look after yourself. What, yeah. what branch are you from? Nottingham. 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 They'll get a lot of credit for that. Thank you. See you, mate. Thank you. So there you go. I told them the channel it'll be on because they behave so professionally. I want to make sure that they see the love that they're going to get in the comments for that. Awesome.